everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing how to root your LG G3. It's a very simple method. This will work on every variant except for Sprint and Verizon. So keep that in mind. Sprint users, you have no root method as of the time of this video. I will make a video once a root method for the Sprint variant becomes available. And Verizon users need to use a different program. I will link to that in the description. Anyways, like I said, every every LG G3 variant but Sprint and Verizon this will work on. It's called Purple Drake. Um, huge shout out to all the developers that worked on it. They, I know they put a lot of effort into it. So anyways, you'll need a PC, micro USB cable, and your phone. Um, you're going to need to install the PC drivers on your computer first. I will link to everything in the description of the video. But on your device, we're gonna need to enable USB debugging. So to do so, go ahead and go into settings and then go ahead and go into general and um, go to about phone, go to hardware information, sorry, not hardware information, software information, and then quickly tap on build number seven times until it says you are a developer. Then go ahead and go back to your settings and you'll see developer options within these settings. Once you see that, go ahead and check USB debugging and hit okay. So make sure USB debugging is checked. You need that for this root method to work. And once you've done that on your phone, you can now go ahead and download the Purple Drake program, which is going to root your device. Like I said, I will link to that in the description. But quick note, if you have a T-Mobile variant like me, you need to download the full Purple Drake software. But if you don't, if you have any other variant but T-Mobile, then you need to download the light version of the software. So uh, of course, I'll explain that in the description. But again, T-Mobile, has the full version and everyone else um, has the light variant. So just kind of keep that in mind. Like I said, all downloads are gonna be in the description of the video. So go ahead and download that program now and then we'll go to our computer. All right, so once you download the software in your downloads, you'll see, it depends on which one you have. Obviously the T-Mobile one's gonna see T-Mo and the light version's gonna say light. I recommend using 7-Zip to open this kind of file to extract it, but just go ahead and double click on your on the download and then it'll open up this um, screen right here. Double click on this and then it should show a folder that's called Purple Drake or Purple, Purple Drake Lite. Go ahead and just click and drag it up to your desktop. So just drag that specific folder to your desktop. I've actually extracted both of them to my desktop. All right, so you'll see I have both of them, Purple Drake and Purple Drake Lite. They look very similar inside the folders. They both have a, at the bottom, Purple Drake Windows BAT file. That's what you're gonna need to, need to click on. So just go ahead and double click, open up the folder, and then go ahead and double click on the Purple Drake underscore Windows BAT, the batch file. And it's gonna open up a command prompt. So uh, go ahead and double click on it, open up the command prompt. All right, once your command prompt is open, what I want you to do is grab your phone and just plug it into your computer. So just go ahead and plug it on in. Once you plug it into your PC, um, what I actually want you to do is pull this down and uh, change this to PTP. So go ahead and uh, select PTP instead of NTP. Um, make sure it is on that. Um, now what I want you to do is just go ahead and uh, leave this on. Leave the screen on because the screen might pop up, so just a heads up there. Um, and press enter. It's gonna say waiting for device. This screen will pop up, allow USB debugging. Just go ahead and press okay. Um, mine still says waiting for device. If yours doesn't, you can keep continuing, but if yours just sticks on waiting for device, I'm gonna close out of it real quick and just reopen the command prompt again and press enter again. And then what it's gonna do is find my device and it'll recognize it, let you know what model number it is, all that good stuff and it says we're ready to go, press enter to continue. So I'm gonna press enter and our device is going to reboot. Um, and it's gonna take us to a screen with a couple cords. For some reason, uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, mine always just says waiting for device. I believe if I used a different laptop, it might fix it. I think it's a problem with my laptop because I've tried many different troubleshooting steps. So if your device does not get stuck on the screen and it actually reboots, um, there's a couple other commands you can run. You just press enter and it does it automatically. Um, you can continue through that process. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you how to do it manually now because mine does not work um, through the script for whatever reason. So if it runs through the script for you, great. It'll do it automatically for you and then you can actually skip to after I do it uh, manually and after I reboot my phone, uh, I'll let you know at what point that is. I'll make an annotation. But anyways, 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, now show you how to manually do it if for whatever reason your um, command prompt gets stuck like it does for me here. All right, so like I said, if it gets stuck and you wanna manually do it, what I recommend doing is you need to open up the Purple Drake folder again, hold the Shift key on your keyboard, hold that down, right click, um, and there's an option to say open command window here. Let's see if I can get it over here. Hold shift and open command window here. So go ahead and select that and it'll just open up this command prompt like so. With this command prompt open now, what we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and grab our phone, uh, which I just rebooted. Um, you can just pull the battery if it gets stuck, no big deal. Um, so yeah, you'll see I have this here, same screen, just go ahead and plug your device in again, same thing, make sure it's on PTP and also make sure USB debugging is on. Um, and we're going to need to type in some commands. So real quick, we need to type in adb space reboot uh, space uh, hyphen hyphen bnr underscore uh, recovery. Like so. I will uh, type out all these commands on my website as well if you need that. I'm going to press enter. And now I believe a screen's going to come up here, allow USB debugging. Go ahead and press OK. And it's going to reboot our device into the recovery mode, I believe. That's going to allow us to push items to our device. So this screen will come up once more. And now, for whatever reason, the command prompt wasn't automatically doing it for me. So I'm just going to do it manually now. So here we go. Um, the command you need to type in is adb space push space period forward slash assets forward slash start underscore restore space forward slash temp forward slash start underscore restore. Just like that. Again, I will link to those so you can just read them off if you need to do this manually and then press enter. It says ADB server out of date. Again, our phone should just sit on this screen just about the whole time. There we go. Um, so yeah, it, it sent that file over. Now one more command and we should be done. ADB space push space period forward slash assets forward slash perma root dot BIN space forward slash TEMP forward slash start underscore restore. So, and press enter, and there we go. So that's done, and that should be it, actually. So now you just type ADB space reboot. And once you press enter, it should reboot your phone, which is what it's doing right now. So there we go. Um, so now my phone is going to reboot. I'm gonna let it reboot. This should be the, this is the point where you skip to if it worked through the command prompt. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it reboot, and I'll be right back. All right, so my phone has rebooted. We just need to do one more thing. Uh, you need to head to the Play Store, actually, and go ahead and search for an app called Super SU. So go ahead and search for that. It should be the first one by Chainfire, and I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Um, let that install, and just to show you, I'm, I'm actually rooted now. I'm gonna download an app called Root Checker. You can just get it in the Play Store from Joey Krim. I'm gonna install that as well. Um, anyways, now what we can do is go ahead and go to the Super SU app. You might need to install binaries. It says the SU binary needs to be updated. Continue. I'm just going to press continue. Um, it says if you have a custom recovery, twerp, or clockwork mod that can be used to try to install SU binaries, recommend. Um, I'm going to press normal, but um, if you uh, went through the script, uh, the T-Mobile script will install twerp for you. I'm just going to press normal though. So it's going to install the binaries, installation success. Uh, it's recommended you reboot your device now so you can reboot it. But just to prove that we are now actually rooted, I'm going to go to Root Checker Basic, hit Agree, hit OK. I'm going to verify root access. It's going to ask uh, for super user permissions. I'm going to grant it, and of course, that means we are now rooted. There you have it. That's it. You are now rooted. Hopefully, the script worked for you. If it didn't, manually typing that in is not difficult at all. So it's a very easy root method with your device. Again, uh, I'll post a link for Verizon users, Sprint, you're out of luck for now. I will post a video once that, once that is available. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.